Now, a KXAN News investigation. It's a sad fact. Dozens of babies are dying here in Central Texas, and experts say all of those deaths are preventable. In a months-long investigation, KXAN has uncovered infants dying at an alarming rate. The cause of death the same in every case, suffocation. Shannon Wolfson is here tonight with this KXAN investigation. You know, the numbers really are surprising. In 2011, 22 infants died from suffocation in the 40 plus counties in Central Texas. 10 of those were in Travis County. Last year, in 2012, 23 total deaths. Eight of those happened in Travis County. Medical, law enforcement, and forensics experts say all of these deaths were preventable. Accidents caused by unsafe sleeping environments. Anybody who loves a baby is going to say this. He was the most beautiful child. From the moment he was born, baby Aiden was his grandmother's greatest joy. The first thing I said when I saw him was, oh, he's no bigger than a peanut. And so ever after, um, he was my peanut. For six months, all his firsts were documented in photos until that terrible February day in 2010. My daughter came running in with him, his lifeless body, um, screaming for help. And um, I tried my best to save him. I tried to initiate CPR, first rescue breathing. Um, paramedics were called. He was star flighted out of here, but he just didn't make it. Aiden suffocated against the bumper pad on his crib. He was rebreathing his own carbon dioxide and not getting any oxygen. I bought that crib bumper pad for my grandson. And, and so I have to live with that, but I didn't know. I had crib bumper pads for all four of my children. There's nothing worse than losing a child, and um, it's it's an unimaginable grief. And until you live it, there's there's just there's no words to describe how devastating it is. When we see an infant death, uh, it's it's pretty traumatic. It's just this could have easily been prevented. Dr. Satish Chundru performs autopsies on these tiny victims as a Travis County medical examiner, and it's not just cases of bumper pad suffocation. We've had cases where uh, infants have been placed or, or babies have been placed in uh, sleeping environments with other siblings and uh, unfortunately we've had siblings that have rolled over on the, the children as well. APD homicide detective David Fugit investigates infant deaths in Austin. There were 13 in 2011 and 2012 alone, and he opened up some of the case files for us. In many of these instances, they have a crib or they have a bassinet at the house that just was not being used. One baby was sleeping in a laundry basket and suffocated in the blanket. Another was on an air mattress, and several were sleeping with parents or siblings in an adult bed. It's a silent and it's a quiet death, and you may not necessarily know that uh, the child has been smothered. Travis County forensic nurse Leanne Courtney says safe sleeping is all about the ABCs. Alone on the baby's back, and in a crib. What a lot of parents do is they actually think because it's nice and comfortable, they place their baby on that quilt. And what happens is the baby can turn over and end up face down in this plush bedding material and suffocate. The safest place, according to Courtney, is alone in the crib on a mattress made for that crib with a fitted sheet. He was just a joy. He smiled all the time. Tammy Vanderwilt now has this tattoo to remember the baby grandson she lost and whose death she hopes wasn't for nothing. I will tell parents, new parents or expectant parents anywhere that I see that um, those beautiful crib sets with the matching um, pillows, bumper pads, blankets, and sheets look fabulous, but they're killers. They have no place in the crib. We got to enjoy one of the most beautiful creatures on earth for six months, and he was a joy. We wanted to break down these numbers for you even further. Of the 46 infant suffocation deaths in Central Texas in the last two years, 23 of those happened while bed sharing. Eight of them happened when the child was in an adult bed, and 12 happened when the child was in a crib, bassinet, or portable crib. The American Academy of Pediatrics has a long list of recommended safe sleep practices. You'll find those online right now with this story at KXAN.com. Reporting in the studio, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN. KXAN News.